It is no secret that China is working hard to surpass the rest of the world in artificial intelligence research. And now, for the first time, they might have actually accomplished that. What many people consider to be the biggest and most realistic sounding AI model, GPT-3, has just been beaten almost eightfold by China's new artificial intelligence model which they've named, Wu Dao 2.0 which China has unveiled at their giant annual AI convention which is being visited by some of the leading AI researchers from all over the world. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you what this new AI has already accomplished, how it's performing compared to American models, and finally, what this means for the near future of AI research. The Beijing Academy of Artificial Intelligence is an excellent venue for displaying cutting-edge technology and skill in a variety of fields. The non-profit institution promotes advances in AI theories, methods, systems, and applications by encouraging scientists to confront issues. Furthermore, the Beijing Academy of Artificial Intelligence places a special emphasis on long-term AI research. The BAAI is an excellent venue for displaying technology and skill in a variety of fields. The non-profit institution promotes advances in AI theories, methods, systems, and applications by encouraging scientists to confront issues. Furthermore, the BAAI has a distinct focus on long-term AI technology development. In China, artificial intelligence is a major deal. Over 70,000 individuals have registered for the event, and many more are tuning in to see the BAAI presentations thereafter. Many of the techniques, algorithms, systems, and applications on display are brand new. Wu Dao 2.0, on the other hand, was a huge hit at the BAAI, outperforming OpenAI's GPT-3 in almost every manner. Language is defined by the Encyclopedia Britannica as a system of customary spoken, physical, or written symbols by which human beings express themselves as members of a social group and participants in its culture. From this concept, we may deduce that language is an essential component of human communication. Language helps us to not only exchange ideas, emotions, and feelings with one another, but also to establish and build communities and empires. To put it another way, language is what makes us human. Professor Gareth Gaskell of the University of York's Department of Psychology estimates that the average 20-year-old knows between 27,000 and 52,000 words. By the time they reach 60, that number has risen to between 35,000 and 56,000. As a result, when we employ words in speech, our brain must make a split-second judgment about which words to use and in what order. In this sense, the brain functions as a processor that can do several tasks at once. According to language experts, each word we know is represented by a distinct processing unit whose sole purpose is to determine the chance of incoming speech matching that word. The processing unit that represents a word in the brain is analogous to a pattern of activity across a group of neurons in the brain. As a result, when we hear the beginning of a word, thousands of such units become active due to the large number of probable matches. The average person can understand up to 8 syllables per second. The objective is to access the word's stored meaning rather than to recognize it. Before a word is completely recognized, the brain searches for a variety of probable interpretations. Listeners begin to record various alternative interpretations such as captain or capital when they hear a word fragment like cap before the complete word appears, according to studies. Language, like most things driven by artificial intelligence in the 21st century, is changing to take on new forms and meanings. The notion of linguistic models has recently risen to prominence in AI. In essence, language models analyze text data to predict word likelihood. This means that language models analyze data using statistical and probabilistic approaches to determine the likelihood of a particular word sequence. Natural language processing applications, such as those that create text as output, frequently employ language models. Machine translation and question answering are two examples. OpenAI presented their version of an autoregressive language model dubbed GPT-3 in March of the same year, which employs deep learning to generate human-like writing. The GPTN series third generation language model has a 175 billion machine learning parameter capacity. GPT-3 can create news items that human assessors have trouble differentiating from pieces authored by humans, according to a study published by OpenAI researchers. 
The language model can also be trained to create 100 pages of material for only a few cents in energy expenses, according to the researchers. Microsoft leased exclusive use of the language model and its underlying code, since the GPT-3 was judged so robust and powerful. However, just a year later, another language model surpassed both GPT-3 and Turing NLG in terms of inventiveness and innovation. At the BAAI, this model, dubbed WuDao 2.0, was on display. Tang Jia, BAAI Research Academic Vice President and Tsinghua University Professor, headed the team that created WuDao 2.0, which has been termed China's first domestic super-scale intelligent model system. Over 100 AI researchers from Peking University, Tsinghua University, Renmin University of China, Chinese Academy of Sciences, and other institutions backed him up. Wu Dao 2.0 is the follow-up to Wu Dao 1.0, which was released earlier this year by the BAAI. Wu Dao 2.0 is China's answer to GPT-3, and it's larger and better. To begin with, Wu Dao 2.0, unlike GPT-3, develops abilities in both Chinese and English as a result of analyzing 4.9 terabytes of pictures and writings. Wu Dao 2.0 has also formed partnerships with 22 companies, including Xiaomi and the video app Kuaishou. The Chinese model was trained on 1.75 trillion parameters, approximately 10 times as many as the 175 billion parameters used by GPT-3. Wu Dao 2.0 can also produce classic Chinese-style poetry, answer questions, write essays, and create picture text. In addition, according to BAAI, this language model met or exceeded state-of-the-art standards on nine criteria. Finally, Hua Zibing, the world's first Chinese virtual student, was introduced by Wu Dao 2.0. Hua has the ability to study, create drawings, and write poems. She will be able to study coding in the future. Wu Dao 2.0's learning capacity is in striking contrast to GPT-3's. Other information about how and what Wu Dao 2.0 was trained are still unknown making it difficult to directly compare it to GPT-3. The new language model, on the other hand, is a testimony to China's AI aspirations and outstanding research initiatives. There's no denying that AI innovation will accelerate in the next years, and many of these breakthroughs will benefit a variety of different sectors. Dr. Kai-Fu Li, one of the AI luminaries and investors who helped establish at least seven AI-powered unicorns, recently spoke at the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park on the potential of transformers and fine-tuning huge pre-trained models like Wu Dao 2.0. These models may be tailored for a wide range of sectors and applications, including education, finance, law, entertainment, and, most significantly, healthcare and scientific research. The use of transformers in biomedical research will almost certainly lead to new discoveries that will benefit people everywhere. And, despite the trade conflicts, I truly hope that the governments would consider cooperating on biological research. To achieve AGI, they count on GPT-like multimodal and multitasking models. Wu Dao 2.0, like GPT-3 before it, is undeniably a significant step toward AGI. However, it is uncertain how much closer we will get. Some scientists believe that in order to achieve AGI, we will require hybrid models. Others support embodied AI, completely rejecting established bodiless paradigms like neural networks. No one knows which road is the correct one. Even if bigger pre-trained models are now the logical trend, we may be missing the forest for the trees, and we may wind up reaching a less ambitious ceiling in the near future. The only thing that is certain is that if the world must suffer from environmental degradation, detrimental prejudices, or enormous economic expenses, not even achieving AGI is worth it. So what is your opinion on this new artificial intelligence model from China? Do you believe that reaching AGI by simply scaling the parameter count of natural language models is possible, or do you think it's more complicated than that? Also, are you glad that America isn't the sole player in the field of AI anymore? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.